Menopause may be pushing women to leave the workforce early or not seek promotion, with calls for more recognition of the impact of the midlife change. Women in STEM, which represents women in the science, technology, engineering and maths sectors, will tell a Senate inquiry that careers have been cut short by menopause. One of the inquiry respondents is Professor Celine Dorgeville, Director of the Advanced Instrumentation Technology Centre at ANU. Celine, welcome. Uh, tell us firstly then about the work you do. Um, I'm the director of the AITC, which is the Advanced Instrumentation Technology Center at Mount Stromlo Observatory, part of the Australian National University. And what do you do there and how many people do you have working with um, you? We have 50 to 60 people working at the center. Um, they're academics and engineers, and we build instruments for telescopes and space missions. Okay, so what's been your experience then of navigating work and hitting the menopause? How has it affected your your job and your time at work? Well, I'm one of the lucky women, I think, where menopause is has been mild uh, for me so far, but uh, I, I can relate to uh, the problems that other women may have uh, in that context. Um, menopause can uh, change your mood, it can affect you physically, you can have trouble sleeping, um, for all these reasons, it's it's a difficult time to navigate in your personal life, mm. of course, but also in your professional life as well. Overall, do you think it makes it harder for women to do their job? Uh, yes, I think uh, they, you know, have had a hard time already if they've had children, say, to go through the period when they had to raise them and... Uh, um, you know, not sleep much at night when they were little, and then they had to deal with being them being teenagers. And about the time when their children become independent, uh, that's when menopause hit. And uh, it's another upheaval in, in a woman's life. So how did you manage work hours? How did women you've spoken to manage work hours? Did they have to cut back at all? Uh, some women who have the strongest uh, effects, yes, have to cut back on work. Uh, they have a hard time to uh, take on responsibilities, which, again, is problematic because this is right at the age where they have the most experience, they have the most to offer uh, to uh, the workplace. And, uh, and some of them just have to take some time off to negotiate these difficulties in their life. And do some also change their retirement plans and they leave the workforce altogether? Some people may have to go to that extreme and, and yes, retire early. Um, I think most of them try to make do and, and work around those problems. Uh, and, and some of them, uh, like me, are lucky enough that it's not affecting their work too much and then it doesn't uh, affect that aspect. So you've made a submission to the inquiry on this, but did you talk, have you spoken to your colleagues about what they're experiencing? Well, interestingly, that survey that was uh, released by Women in STEM was the a factor that made us start the conversation uh, with my colleagues uh, at ANU. And, uh, and we're just starting on that journey. Uh, we would like to first uh, understand if anything is already planned at the university in that space. We don't think there is much, but uh, we would really need to connect with all the areas of the university that could be providing support. and. Uh, and understand what already exists and then make recommendations uh, based on our own experience, but also based on that, the results of that survey mm -hmm. uh, on how to best support uh, women going through menopause. So what support would make the most difference, do you think, Celine, in the workplace? Uh, I think just already being aware this is a problem because it always starts with awareness, whatever the problem is, you know, whether it's supporting women in general in the workplace and offering um, accommodations for um, carers leave or, or things like that. Um, recognizing that women going through menopause may need to access some special benefits like special leave, uh, sick leave maybe, uh, if, if they need to negotiate uh, times when they're particularly down or tired due to that. And, and uh, recognition from people who are working alongside them that this is actually a real thing and it's it's affecting them and then they need to be understanding of that. Celine Dorgeville, thank you so much for your time. You're very welcome.